U.S. President Joe Biden vows to hunt down and punish those responsible for the deadly Kabul attack. The Islamic State affiliate ISIS-K claiming that it is behind the suicide blast, which killed more than 13 U.S. service members and dozens of Afghans. President Biden said the U.S. will move forward with evacuations, but made it clear that the nation will neither forgive nor forget. We will not uh, demonstrate it over and again that it's mass was not only a threat, but that it was a severe threat and an increasingly likely one. Look, uh, ISIS has uh, demonstrated over and again that it's masterfully opportunistic, uh, especially when it comes to vacuums of power. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the chatter that I had been looking at uh, just before the attack talked about how uh, ISIS was poised uh, to launch attacks specifically because two of its enemies are out of the picture. That is the Afghan security forces and of course the U.S. troops. Now that they are out of the picture, they only have one more enemy left. And this enemy is extremely busy uh, right now trying to uh, control Afghanistan all over again, uh, trying to put logistics in place. Um, uh, but the other point is that uh, as ISIS is taking advantage of this power vacuum, it also realizes that it can attract uh, uh, fighters from the ranks of the Taliban by showcasing uh, the group as weak, as uh, unable to govern, uh, as also a group that is nationalistic and sitting at the negotiations table uh, with the West, sitting at the negotiations table uh, with tyrants in the region, uh, aka having a, a political office in, in Qatar. So. Uh, all right, Shalom. This is Hara One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kaal Halayim, Layahawa, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Haraka Kodash, my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right, this is Psalms uh, 55 and 21. It says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were salted in oil, yet were they drawn swords, all right? Now, you heard the speech of uh, uh, Biden, you know, lying Biden, creepy Joe. And, uh, you know, this gets to the point with that. This is their whole goal, to uh, war, order out of chaos. You know, uh, you had America dealing with the Taliban before, right, rubbing, sh brushing shoulders with ISIS. But now um, they got what? You got ISIS trying to go against Taliban, so-called. And you got them um, running the Afghanistan government out of that area where um, they've been ordered to move all their troops out of. But now this is the thing. Uh, if there's an attack on America in that land, then that gives America right to stay there longer. You see that in the midst of removing so-called Americans out of there and bringing them back here. So that gives them the green light to stay over there longer. All right. And gain a foothold um, in that area again. Check this out. This is Habakkuk 2 and 5. All right. This is all prophecy. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yay. Yay. Also, because he transgressed by wine, see that through, the, through their philosophies, um, you know, uh, you get what? Uh, sorry about that, man. This view is beautiful. Let me show you this real quick. If I can show you, it's crazy. I'm looking out the window, but um, yeah. So his philosophies through their philosophies and their policies and setting up for uh, what you would call, I'm going to turn it back around, setting up for what you would call this World War Three scenario or Arm, what you would call Armageddon, all right? Uh, through, their, through their lies, through their brushing and rubbing shoulders with these terrorist groups, these politicians that set up militias over there, you know, people like Dick Cheney, remember them? McCain, all right, the Bush administration, the Clinton administration. 
Now, um, so now you have a bunch of service members, a bunch of Marines that got killed over there. All right. So now check this out. It says Habakkuk 2 and 5. So you can expect more attacks, more war as it, as this chaos heats up around the world. All right. It says, yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. So they're proud. They think they're going to reach their new world order. All right. Esau thinks they're going to keep their uh, power seat in this earth. It says, neither keep it at home, man. And they've been pushing their military all over the world, especially since World War II, when America became the hammer of the earth and they started going into the Middle East and uh, causing uh, confusion and the same shit they do here in America, division, right, amongst these different uh, ideologies and beliefs over there in the Middle East. R Russia, China, they all grabbing... Uh, different, you know, deals with um, those Arabs and the Afghanis. So they split up the Middle East, man. Like right, what they call the Middle East. So now, um, this is all about land grabs, man. It's all about land grabs right now. All right. So it says uh, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, man. All right, and and they really started going over there during what you call Operation Desert Storm when they went over there in Afghanistan to the desert. All right, um, that says, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as death. So, you, you, hey man, you know, the scriptures say that Esau is the, the liar and the father of it. So, you know, this, the, the media pushing it all over YouTube. So, you know, it's some lies up in there. All right. So they can get their agenda. It says, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heap of unto him all people, man. All right. They're still not satisfied. They're saying they're leaving that area. They ain't leaving. All right. All right. They go a um, pretty good map. And it's, it shows you right here. Um, let me use this. Me, it shows you right here. This is where America went first. All right. Um, 2003, if I can't remember, mistaken. All right. Operation Desert Storm. And they've been over here in Afghanistan and, and Kabul. Now, is it coincidence? They're on the, they basically on the doorsteps of Iran. All right, that's their goal, and the scriptures tell you that if the if the, um, the hinder point was going to be towards the the Red Sea and the uh, face towards the utmost sea, you know. And these two right here used to be connected. So let's get um scripture on that real quick. All right, that's what I said. What he neither keep it at home, man. So they're the cause of all the chaos over there, you know, and uh and also. Uh, weaponizing and training all those uh, those terrorists over there. You can tell one that's trained, they'll hold their finger over their trigger like that compared to uh, whatever other way, just kind of chaotic. Like somebody just grabbed a gun and is just going crazy. But they actually trained, man. All right. Now, Joel 2 and 20. But I will remove far off from you the Northern Army. America is what? North America, the Northern Army. And their army has been removed all around the world. They got bases all over the earth. And also over there on the borders of Russia. You see that? And will drive him into a land barren and desolate. With his face towards the East Sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. But what does it say right here? And his stink shall come up, man. So a lot of them are going to perish over there. That go into his, his military. This man's army. All right, it says, and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. They did a lot of wickedness over there, you know. So now all them nations coming against him. The Lord raising up those, the, the dead nations, the, those heathen nations against America or Esau. All right. Fear not, O land, 
be glad and rejoice for Yahweh will do great things. So the Lord going to do great things against them. You know, so this is all prophetic. And uh, what scripture said, his stink shall come up. And that's why they're dying over there. And those explosions and stuff like that. All right. Now you have right here, man, Saudi Arabia. And now they're dealing with Afghanistan. And, um, and they already messed with Iraq. So they're right on the doorsteps of Iran. All right. Now, um, so it says Saudi Arabia, the EC would be the Red Sea. Then you have what you would call the Caspian Sea. All right. Now, but the ultimate goal is what? Iran. Check this out. It says, what is ISIS-K or ISIS-K? This Afghan terror group and Taliban enemy, it says, um, whose local uh, offshoot is called ISIS-K, its name a reference to the historical Iranian and Central Asian region of Khorasan, man. All right, what do got the K? So, hey, you see, Iran is getting tangled up in there. So get ready for that. All right. Um, but you got people jumping off of planes, idiots hanging on the planes, on the, the wheels, and f falling from thousands of feet in the air, splatting on the ground. People getting mangled up in the engine and, and the wheels. You got people getting slaughtered and uh, massacred over there. Babies crushed in rocks and stones and heads cut off. Man, Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. So there's a rumor that a war is going on over there. That, you know, war is going to kick off. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the end is not yet. All right, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So they're all rising against each other and, and, and different uh, people against different people and and uh, proxy nations and these, uh, uh, what you would call uh, more powerful uh, countries like Russia and China and America and Iran. <clears throat> for a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes and diverse places, in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. So they're going to be, we're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. We're hearing it through the media. All right. It's just the time we're in. It's going to be wars popping up. You see that? Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. So this is a purpose of the most high getting things stirred up over there for Armageddon. Now it says this, I'm going to skip down to get to the point. It says, um, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. All right, so this is a time of war on the earth, a war between what? Spiritual wickedness in high and low places against righteousness and also nations against nation, people against peace and people, kingdom against kingdom. All right. All right, I'm going to do this real quick. Revelation 9 and 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. And this is talking about uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. And this was, um, it was known as the last Kaiser. The word Kaiser means king. So he was like the last Caesar before they started deeming and calling people presidents. <clears throat> but uh, now he was the last king before uh, Hitler. And Hitler was like a, a soldier, a general that became the, the leader of that nation. All right. But this is talking about Kaiser Wilhelm right here in World War One. All right. I, I don't know if I said World War Two, Salaki, so but World War One. All right. I think it was like 1917. Uh, and uh, he was known as the guy that destroyed Europe. <laughs> Caused something called the turnip winter. Look it up. The turnip winter. All right. Caused nothing but poverty in his nation by trying to start a war. All right. Getting involved in a war, man. And uh, that's the same thing Biden doing. Because America is basically Nazi Germany, man. All over again. 
So it says, uh, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue uh, hath his name of Pali, I mean, like destroyer, you know. So he basically destroyed Europe, destroyed his own damn nation. All right, now check this out. Verse 12, so these are the things we know when we see these things happen upon the earth. If you're into the scriptures, into the Quran or whatever, if you're into other books, you ain't going to get it. But if you're into this book, the uh, Holy Scriptures, you're going to look for these things, man, because the scriptures is a book of prophecy. And we've been warned and uh, put on notice that all these things are going to happen upon the earth. And now they're moving into uh, terrorist attacks, and then they're going to go to homegrown terrorism. You know, then they're going to start saying Russia. You're going to start hearing that. You're going to start hearing about uh, UFOs again, the chariots. Same loop, man. I always say Esau's a one-trick pony. And he got Biden up there, the puppet. All right. It says, one woe is past, and behold, there come two more, two woes more hereafter. And that's why you have these things happening, uh, building up upon the earth.